Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Coffee here. And today we're back with something a little bit different. So I was alerted to a new 3D printer that had some really cool accessories for diamond painting. So of course I had to go check them out. Now, I don't think they know who I am. I did not tell them and I asked the person to not say anything. Um, not that I'm like, you know, whatever, but when people find out Miss Coffee's buying from them, sometimes they, they freak out a little bit. So I didn't want them to know who I was. So the person's name is Carissa's Craft Corner. Now Carissa's Craft Corner, well, this was probably one of the nicest experiences I've ever had buying stuff in the diamond painting community. They were super quick. They verified everything with me. They verified colors and everything else. An amazing customer service experience with Carissa. And she just messaged me back and forth on Facebook. So to Carissa, thank you so much for such a pleasant experience ordering from your shop. And so what makes this a little bit different than ordering from Etsy that is that you get to talk to the person themselves in case you have any questions or concerns. You can contact them directly and talk to them. And they are super, super nice. So thank you again, Carissa, for that. Now, without further ado... I bought like one of everything. <laughs> I bought one of everything that I could see on her Facebook page. Now, the the group is on Facebook. It's called Carissa's Craft Corner. I will link it down below in case anybody else is interested in, in purchasing some stuff. Um, I'm gonna crack this box open and put it off to the side because it's it's a little big. It's it's a it's a large box. But I want it, I want it because in the new year, I want to get better at organizing my craft supplies. Now, as crafters, we know that sometimes our craft corners can get a little crazy, right? You're a little disorganized and stuff like that. So in the new year, I'm going to be looking out for shops that have organizational type things for diamond painting or for any other craft because I want to get more organized in the new year with all my craft stuff. And everything's nicely wrapped. We got some bubble wrap. When you open the box and I took that bubble wrap off, this is what you're whoops, this is what you're seeing in the box. So it's all nicely bubble wrapped so that nothing is harmed in the mail. Now it is that time of year where uh if you're watching this when I put it up, it is the holiday season. So it's in December. We're we're like, I don't know, 13, 14 days from Christmas. So mail's a little crazy right now. Sorry, I'm trying to pick up something on drop. So you got to be extra careful when you're sending out stuff like this, especially stuff that's breakable because it can and will break. So the first thing I'm seeing is this here. And again, I told you I bought like one of everything. So this is a pen stand. So essentially you take your diamond painting pen. There's a hole right there. Boom. You put your pen in there. Pen stand. <laughs> if you don't knock it over. It's a nice little, nice little pen stand. So if you're working on a project and you put your pen away, there's a nice way to store your pen away. The next thing I'm seeing is this adorable little daisy funnel. And of course, that's for when you have your drills. You put your drills in there into your storage container so that it's not spilling all over the place. So that's a nice little addition. Oh, sorry, Killian. I didn't realize Killian was right there. Must have. I should have known because there's a box and he thinks everything in the box is for him. Now this, the... Piece la resistance. Now, I was super excited about this. And of course, I ordered everything, everything in rainbow. We already know. Miss Coffee has an addiction to rainbow. No, I'm not trying to get help about it. But, y'all, look at that. Look at that. Look how gorgeous this is. Look at the even and pattern. The 3D printing on this is amazing. Nice quality. It's super sturdy, so I don't feel like I'm going to crush it if I, crap, if I uh, grab it too hard. But the consistency of the colors and then the honeycombing. Now, one, well, I like the fact that it spins around on my desk. <laughs> I'm easily amused. So, what I'm going to do now is I have this cute project bag that's for, it's for cross-stitching. But I put pins in it. Don't judge me. It's to hold your pins. If you have a lot of pins like I do, if you've been collecting these pins for a long time, and these are some of my chunky pens. So these are pins of all different sizes. So these are thick pins, thin pens. Like you already know my new, oh, look at that, just perfect. My new uh, thing with pens is I get them chunky. Okay, I like me a big thick pen. And because of that, I wanted to see if this would fit those bigger pens. Now this is probably one of the biggest ones that I own. 
fits in there just fine. So they made the size of this really, really nice. And most of these pins come, most of these pins come from all over, to be honest with you. So these pins all fitting here, super nice. And you have everything from small to large to extra large pens in there. And this is all the pens I keep close to my desk. So this isn't even all of them. But the fact that I can get that many of them in there, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So I absolutely love that. So that's the, one of the first things. I got fuzz on my ring. That's the first thing that we pulled out of the box. The next thing is this. I think I know what this is. The packing job on this is immaculate. We got a peppermint. We got some decoration stickers. Oh yes, these are my cover minders. They also have a couple of cover minders. And I got them because I thought they were super cute. I was hoping she had a gingerbread man. Gingerbread men are my favorite. So we got a little gingerbread man. Let's go. So we have, or we don't have a gingerbread man. Um, we have this adorable little reindeer, and then we have a snowman. Isn't that cute? They're so cute. So those are two more of the, the items that I got. And again, these are cover minders. So essentially what you do is you put these on top of your project with the magnet, and then you keep that, uh, it keeps your, your paper back. Now it doesn't have, oh, there it is. I like, oh, snap. Okay, so the magnet's on the inside of the 3D printed thing. And then the magnet just sits on top of it. So essentially you use this to keep your cover paper back. You pull your cover paper back on your diamond painting, boom, and that holds it in place. And you have this cute little decoration to do it. So I'm super happy with that. So we have two cover minders. Now my total for all of this all together was $144. So it actually the pricing wasn't that bad, um, especially for all that you're getting and how much organization I'll be able to do with what I got. Now, I'm not even done showing you what I have, so don't don't worry. We, we, we got time. We got time. Next up. We have this. Now, this on her site, I believe, is called a putty holder, okay? So, if you buy from places like Randa's Putty or Black... Uh, sorry, let me make sure I get this right. <laughs> Black Dahlia... Um, putty stuff like that and they come in these cute little bags like this you just stick them in here this way you can keep track of all the putty you have and it's not just laying all over your craft room again I'm here for the organization and I really really like that Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything in my box. So I think this is the bigger one of what she has. I don't think I got the smaller one. I thought I did, but I think I, I don't think I did. So I will have to place another order to make sure I can get a couple more of these and maybe some smaller ones. Because not only was I thinking about putty, you guys, y'all know Miss Coffee is the baggy lady. And look, listen, listen. If I can put my drills, right? If I can put my drills into here for my projects, right? Big old fat bag. This is also doubling as a drill holder for when you're working out of baggies. You guys, come on. That is amazing. And of course, again, yes, yes, I got it in rainbow. <laughs> and of course, look at that even coloring on that. Absolutely stunning and amazing. I freaking love this. And again, it's, it rolls around on my desk. I like this. <laughs> so the pocket sizes are pretty decent. So like I have one, two, three, four, five things of putty right here. And they all can fit in one slot. If I can get them all to go in. There we go. They can all fit in one slot. So imagine how much putty you can put in here. If you are someone who prefers to use putty, you can put it in there and not have to worry about it being all over your craft room or not knowing where it's at because you're now organized enough to have this putty caddy. Or if you're someone like me that likes to work out of baggies, when you diamond paint, you have something to work out of baggies in. Um, if you don't like the, the, the 
little trays with the, the rectangles in it. Something like this would work great as well. So it doubles as a putty from a putty holder to a drill holder if you're someone who likes to work out of baggies. So again, another great product there. I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not done. And I'm not going to tell you the price of each item that I purchased because I want you to go over and check them out. Um, don't forget to answer the questions to get into the group. Um, so yeah, uh, I think one of the questions is, uh, how did you find out about us? Just say Miss Coffee sent me. <laughs> now this next one is a twist. Look again, look at the beautiful coloring on that. This is a twisted hexagon for your diamond painting pins. And again, oh, the thicker pins don't fit in there. Oh, they do. So we're we're going to try to do pins of all sizes. So, like, in the twist areas, you're going to want to use the smaller pins. The smaller pins in the twisted areas. And then the, the areas that aren't so twisted, I would say you could use the bigger pins. But if you're someone who doesn't use a lot of those thicker pins, you can get one of these no problem. So the, the bigger hexagon is great for the thicker pins. And then the littler hexagon is good for the smaller pins. And I have both. So this, this ain't nothing for me. So again, more organization. That also separates your bigger pins from your smaller pins. So you know which pins you're getting. And I absolutely love the design of this. Like the, intu the, the intuition, intuition. The, like, way that they shape this one to print in this hexagon twisted uh, design is really, really cool. And I, I really like that. So this is a great way to keep my thick, my thick pins separate from my thinner pins. So I really, really like that. I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> Again, I told you, I tried to buy one of everything. And before this video goes up, I'll be buying like that's the uh, maybe another one of these and a smaller one. I'm going to try to remember to buy those. <laughs> it's going to be a busy morning. Now this one. Now this one I would say would go great on your desk. And you're probably like Miss Coffee. What is that? Same thing. It's a drill pin holder, but it also has a place for your cover minders. So you put your cover minders in here, and then you put your pins. Oh, the biggest pin's not gonna fit in there. So I would say your smaller pins are gonna fit in here, yep. So another nice place for your smaller pins. And then you also have places for your cover minders. So if you have a bunch of cover minders that you wanna put in here. Not me just randomly finding cover minders. <laughs> You would put your cover minders in here. Boop. So you have something to hold your cover minders and your pens with. We love to see it. And this one is a greenish purple. Okay. We're not done. We're not done. <laughs> Don't worry. We're not done. Because um, the last thing that I got... Now, you guys know, if you know Miss Coffee, Miss Coffee likes lots of things. Rainbows, uh, unicorns. Um, what are some other things that Miss Coffee likes? Foxes. <laughs> and also, gnomes. Now, <laughs> they had an entire army of these. Now, this is a lot bigger than I expected, but I love it so much. <laughs> this is a gnome. And again, it's a pen holder. <laughs> I love it so much. Now, I will say, of course, with your like with me, I like to use a 15 placer. So my, my single placer would have to go down on top. But if I have a smaller placer on it, it can go down at the bottom. I would say don't jam your stuff into this as you will break it. It is just 3D printed. But they are printed very well. Just making sure there's nothing else in the box. <laughs> They are printed very well, very sturdy. I Again, I don't feel like if I hold this too tight, I'm going to break it. You can see down into there, like, there's nothing in there. It's just a hollow space for you to put your pen. And this is an adorable gnome. And they come, all this stuff, 
by the way, all this stuff comes in different colors. So you don't have to necessarily get rainbow if rainbow is not your jam. Rainbow is definitely 100% my jam. And so I usually try to get my stuff in rainbow. This one she didn't have in rainbow, if I remember correctly. So she gave me it to, gave it to me in this beautiful purple, pink, and blue gradient, which I love so much. But everything else, essentially, and this as well. This got the same gradient as my gnome. And this is all stuff that you can either put on a shelf for if you're organizing a shelf, which I will be doing, um, or you can have it sitting on your desk, readily available to you, so you can just pluck and go as you wish. As you wish. Now. This big hexagon, hexagon right here, this gives me life because uh, it just, it holds so many pens. Like how many slots do we have here? We have four here. One, two, three, four, five. So you got about 20 slots on that one. You have about two, four, six, seven on this one here. And then you have about what, six on this one. So you're getting quite a few slots in each one of these to hold your pens, whether you're a beginning diamond painter or you're new to the addiction of just collecting all the diamond painting stuff. She has a little bit of something for everyone. So if you got a, like, you just want to use the one pen, uh, we have the funnel, we have the hexagon, we have this smaller twisted hexagon, and then the smaller, smaller twisted hexagon with the cover minder holder. Because if you're like me, I lose those things all the time. Or I have tiny hands in my house. I'd like to take them. And then we have the putty organizer or the diamond pill, diamond pill, uh, pills, diamond drills holder. And then we have this adorable gnome for your single place. Pen. Like you just want to put one pen in there. And of course, this is a chunky pen. Where's the biggest? This is one of the biggest pens that I own. And it fits in there with room to spare. So it fits a very good size pen. For your littler pens, it will fit them as well. I wouldn't say jam two of them in there because I don't think two of them would fit, but it does hold a thicker pen if you like, if you're like me and you like a thicker pen. So for, I, I don't know if I ordered these two or not. These might've been free gifts. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but for these two, the 20 place, the 20 holder, the, what did we say that was? Two, four, six, seven. The seven holder, the six holder and cover minder holder for the putty tray and then the giant gnome, all of this, and the two cover minders, the two cover minders as well. All of this was $144. For, for, uh, for once, I feel like I spent my money wisely. <laughs> When it comes to my diamond painting experience, I feel like it was not, I don't have like buyer's remorse because I bought like one thing for $144. I'm getting all of this for $144. This is a lot, okay? This is me organizing my pen shelf now and having it where I can see my beautiful pens displayed. Because if you notice as well, the way it's designed, you're being, you're able to see all the pens. So it's a beautiful display of your pens. So it's not just something to hold your pens. It's also displaying your pens in a way that you can actually see which pens are in there and they're not just clumped together. Um, it's also a way of keeping them safe from damage, from like them falling off your desk if they're not being used or what have you. Um, so I'm really happy with my purchase from this shop. And like I said, customer service was 100% on point. And so that's them. And that, that's one of the reasons why I don't like them knowing who I am. Because if they know who I am, sometimes it will sway the way my customer service experience goes. So I didn't want to tell them um, who I was. So she'll find out, I guess, when she sees this video. Because I'm pretty sure somebody will bring it to her attention. But I am extremely happy with my purchase from Carissa's Craft Corner. So if you guys have not checked them out over on Facebook, please, please, please go check them out. I am going to send her a picture of all this awesome stuff that I just received. I got it yesterday in the mail. So I'm going to send her a picture of all this this beautiful stuff to show her that I did receive my order and to thank her profusely for it. And I'm going to leave the link to this shop down in the description box below so that you guys can go check them out as well. Again, don't forget to answer the questions to go into the group and make sure you let them know that Miss Coffee sent you. Now, with that said, that's all I got for you today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day and continue to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. But until next time, you guys, stay safe out here in these crafty streets. And always remember to be kind to others because you never know what somebody else is going through. Be courteous because it's the right thing to do. And always stay cool. And whether I see you in YouTube land or I see you on Twitch, either way, I'll see you when I see you. Bye, guys.
Thank you.